it going, everybody? It's another week, and we have two episodes of the Draw Along Show uh, this week. Now, I remember last week I was only able to do one, so it's great to be able to do two again this week. I'm glad you're all here watching with me, and I hope you brought something to draw with. So, that could be a pencil, or a pen, or a marker, or a piece of moon rock that you took from the last time you had a little lunar voyage, and you can just sort of scratch around on the sidewalk with that if you like. Makes kind of a nice chalky kind of a uh, mark. Um, the only problem is you don't want to use up all of the moon rock because then you got to blast back off to the moon to get some more and that can be a little expensive concern uh you know the, the gas prices these days and all that and well anyway just don't use up all your moon rock is what i'm trying to say uh the moon makes me think of science i'm a big fan of science i trust science science is important but at the same time you know um sometimes i feel like you can't trust atoms because they make up everything Why don't we get to some drawing? Now let's say hi to some folks who have decided to join us today. Today we have Mercurial, hello, and Steven and Sam. And I see Steve is here as well. Nice to see you, Steve. Hey, Be Creative, nice to see you. Thanks for joining us as well. Hey gang, are you ready to do some drawing? Because I am, and we're gonna start today with the same kinds of lines we always start with. You have to be able to do a straight line, a zigzag, or a curvilinear line. Could be an S-curve. Right, could go that way, could go this way. You never know with those curvilinear lines. They're pretty fancy. Um, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. And today, we're going to draw an animal. That's always fun. And we're gonna start with a little line like that. And many of our drawings start that way. It's so convenient. It's just so convenient. We are gonna do a sort of a letter J kind of action now. Okay, check this out. A little letter J, like that. Hmm. Longer here, shorter there down and scoop on over okay we're gonna send it out this way now look it's longer than that line isn't it this line is longer than that line important to observe that okay now we're gonna cut back at a little angle just like so hmm. maybe a little further okay, I'd say this line is kind of similar to the length of that line it's always good to do comparative measuring that's what we call that I want you to pop back over here to this first line we did. And right here at the end, I want you to drop straight down like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Same over here. Now I'm not gonna go totally halfway across, okay? Actually, you know what? I am, <laughs> I changed my mind. <sighs> A little further down. And then I'm just gonna loop up and connect. Zoop like so now from here we're going to angle slightly downwards okay but it's mostly a horizontal line okay slightly angling down like so ah very nice very nice perhaps you've already guessed what we're drawing and if you have bravo a little dash right there and from this corner okay we're going to come up just a hair and then very shallow c curve on up to there and right here, another shallow C curve. We just go straight off of that line and up. So we went one, little J, straight on out. Cut back a little. We drop down the ear and then we connect it, okay? Little dash for the eye, little scoop for the nose and a similar scoop for the mouth. I mean, what do you know? We've got pretty much a, a, do, a dachshund head, right? A little hot dog head. We're going to now take this corner as our starting point and move on this way, all right? How far down do I, I want to go? Well, look at where we have the bottom of the chin, if you like, okay? We're basically going to try and line up the top of the back with that. So what you can do is make yourself a little target. Always good to make a little target. I do this a lot. I tell you guys, hey, look, you're not exactly sure where you want to put a line. Give yourself something to aim for, okay? So there it is, right? Zoom in so you guys can see a little better. All right, we're gonna angle down and then scoop to meet it. So angle down and scoop to meet it. Just like that. Angle and scoop. Now we're gonna draw a line straight out this way. Look how long that is, okay? Doesn't have to be perfectly straight, don't you worry about that. 
but it could wind up being longer. I don't know yet, and that's fine. I can always make it longer in the end. All right, but for now, I wanna make sure I know that's going to be a long line, so I make it fairly long, and then I just leave it be for now, okay? Then I come down here to this ear, and about in the middle of the ear, I'm gonna drop down another line, and that line is gonna, is gonna be about the same length as this or that, okay? It's not very long, just like that. That's it, boom, boom, boom. All right, now, here comes another little C curve. It's gonna come out and down, check it out. Out and down. All right, and I'm not gonna go very far down this time, about the same as before, see that? Boom, and boom. All righty. Slight angle this way, all right? And then down that way. So down and down, and we'll echo that right there. Excellent. Okay, now, Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at where this line would have met our ground here. I'm gonna pop over slightly to the right and then angle up this way. So we're gonna go and then cut back. So we go up and over, just like that. All right, how's everybody doing out there? I'm not going too fast, right? Okie dokie, next we are going to come back from this elbow here, just underneath. We're gonna come across like that. And then we're gonna scoop up this way. So check it out, very slight scoop. And then back over this way. So we go across and scoop, okay? Now you see about how much space I have here. All right, now I want you to look at that. And imagine that if I were to, don't draw this, just watch. But imagine that this area here should be about like a square. Okay, you wanna leave yourself about that much room. All right, and mine's a little narrower than a square and that's totally fine. Something in that kind of area is what you're aiming for, okay? And I wanna remind myself um, that this is my ground here. Okay, if I were to just draw across, here's one foot and I'm coming across this way and I wanna be able to line up the back foot with that ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just travel across, okay, I'm not actually making a mark, but I'm just looking and sort of lining it up. And I'm lining up with the, the back here of this long line, dropping down to about that point. Okay, so I'm coming across, just about to where that is. And then I'm gonna go a little further over to about here. So it's down and over, all right? Lining it up here giving myself a target, giving myself a target. Then I'm gonna just travel upwards like that, and I'm gonna scoop up to here. Scoop, and leave a little space like that. So you see what I did? I made myself a little mark, a little target. Okay, that's a very helpful thing to do. Then over on this side, okay, I'm just gonna do a line that comes back like this. So back. And then I'm gonna push it back this way. Back we go. And then I'm gonna come back down again like that. And now I know I just have to come back and over and echo, just like I did up in the front there, okay? So there we have our back foot. And that's how I kind of line everything up, okay? Down, over, down, zigzag, zig. Bunch of zigzags there. Alrighty, now, Check this out, right from under here, I'm gonna go down and over and across. And that's just reminding me that there's another foot back there. And over in the front, I do the same thing right here, okay? And I can leave a little space if I want, I can just go down and over and across. Just reminding folks that this dog has four legs, okay? And then here where the tail is, right? I'm just gonna go, woo, isn't that nice? S-curve action, just come off the back and S-curve on out, like that. Now, this is your drawing, you know, you're gonna customize this. You can do whatever you want to make it your own. So, maybe you put some grass there, okay. Maybe it's a bright sunny day, you put some clouds in the sky, maybe some birdies. Maybe the dog is playing with his, his favorite ball. Just put a little ball there, All right? It's got some stripes on it maybe or something like that. Whoops, there we go. Who knows, who knows? 
your drawing, make it what you will. And um, yeah, you know, customize it, customize it as I always say. Now it is time for the doodle game. So those of you who've seen the show before know that in the doodle game, I will draw a shape on the screen and you have to tell me what you think you see. Okay, so there is the shape. There's the shape. Could be anything. Think of an animal, think of a person doing something, think of an object, whatever it is. You see something in this shape. Okay, I'll move it over here. If you see something, write it in the chat and I will draw it. It's as simple as that, simple as that. Hope all those hot dogs turned out well for you, those dachshunds. Hey, Megan's here, Megan's here, I mean, Megan. I think you watched one time and I had to make sure I pronounced your name right. And now I'm forgetting again if I got it wrong or right, you gotta tell me. Hey Donna, how's it going? Nice to see you. Oh, here come some suggestions already. Got some suggestions coming in. Wonderful. Alrighty. Let's check it what we uh, what people are saying here. A lady lifting a weight, a bicep curl. A lady lifting a weight, bicep curl. Cool! I like that one. I see it. A dinosaur, a mushroom, an upside down iron, all kinds of neat stuff. Nice, I'm gonna do that, that person lifting a weight. Let's do it. Okay, so. Here we go, ba bum ba bum and She's got her workout clothes on here. ba bum ba bum She's gonna go, oh, lifting that heavy weight. How many pounds is it? I don't know. Let's say like it's maybe like 30, 35 pounds or something crazy. Lots of weight. And There she goes. Lifting all that weight, getting buff, right? Excellent. And then That was a fun suggestion. I like it. See, you guys always do some pretty nifty stuff for the doodle game. You always come up with something fun. I'm always impressed. I didn't see that at all, but then once you said it, I saw it. You know what I mean? You said it, I saw it, and oh, oh hang on a minute. Sorry, we have to interrupt things for just a moment. Let's uh, slide this person over here because it is time, of course, for Appreciation Station. Now, today, who are we appreciating? Well, it's Donna. Donna. You may recall that I was working as a dog walker, speaking of dogs, in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia one time, and I had these uh, several Great Danes, which is, as you know are large dogs, and I'm a small guy, and one of the Great Danes, I wasn't strong enough to keep him from running across the street, got, got off the leash and ran across the street to chase a cat, and you just came right up and said, don't worry, <laughs> I'm a dog linguist, and you even had a master's in European dog languages, and you just barked so convincingly at the Dane, and it came running back and sat there obediently. And I'll never know what you said exactly to that dog, but I was so impressed with your unique talent and your very interesting uh, language skills. Um, also, I didn't know that you could get a degree in that. I hope that served you well. I'm sure that you've never been attacked or bothered by a dog in your entire life. I wish I would learned the language myself, but um, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, and I am an old dog. Anyway, thank you for your quick thinking. Thanks for saving me my job back there, that would have been a big trouble. Um, and I appreciate you, and let's get back to drawing. So, it is time for the animal and activity game. Now, what does that mean? You suggest in the chat an animal doing something strange, funny, weird, unexpected, bizarre, whatever it happens to be, and I will draw it for you. Now, we've had many, many interesting suggestions in this uh, segment of the show, as you all know. 
And one of the challenges for me, of course, is to try and get an interesting drawing done in about seven to nine minutes. Usually it's what I try to leave myself. Um, but let's see how we do today. Be inventive, be creative. I will tell you if I can't draw an animal. Sometimes we get suggestions for animals. I just don't even know what they are, but throw everything at me and let's see what our choices are. And we'll try and create something fun today. In the last few weeks, we've had things like a moose um, playing, I think a banjo. We had a frog playing video games. And um, we did, we had an ant on stilts. We had, uh, I'm just trying to go back through my memory of things that we had a we had a meditating animal of some kind. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. Anyway, this is now our we just over, passed a hundred episodes, so we've done over a hundred of these, and they're always cool. All right, let's see what we have. Alrighty, a bobsledding seal. See, see how creative these are. A bear reading a book. Um, a dove. Boxing, a boxing dove. Haha, <laughs> I get it, like a boxing glove. A panda roller skating, I love it. Iguana making tacos. A butterfly doing the cha cha. A hippo ice skating. That's a funny visual. A spider knitting. A taper doing what? I'm not sure. Uh, tell me what you wanted to tape. Oh, wait, I'm trying to picture what a taper looks like. I'm having a hard time. An ostrich dancing. That's fun. All right, these are all good ideas. So, hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. So, Ujain says a fish bungee jumping. Um, I'm gonna try the boxing dove, Steve. That's that's a pretty interesting one. Um, let's see let's see how that goes. Okay, more suggestions coming in. A penguin with regular legs and hands. Ooh, that's kind of weird. A squirrel making a sandwich. These are all fun. All right, let's see what I can do with this boxing dove. All right, gang. Let's grab a lighter color, as we always do, a little lighter blue, and this will be my sketch color. All right, now, hmm, let's try and get this boxing dove to look right. All right, so there's this face he's making. Tuft of hair up there, make him look funny. We have the other glove up here. So we'll have him sort of in a ready stance, right? And get that tail there out the back. Alrighty. And I think that sketch pretty much works for me. I think we're in good shape there. <coughs> I 
<coughs> excuse me. What do you think? How's that? For our boxing dove. All right, now we do our final line art, which means we are going to go to a, uh, a darker color and get that other foot just looking a little better there. There, I kind of flatten that out against the floor. Okay, now we're gonna lighten that up just a hair and we're gonna grab a darker blue and here we go, we say one. Actually a little smaller beak because I know doves don't have like really long beaks. Okay. He's like a really tough looking dove. I know that they are the bird of peace, but uh, this dove looks like he means business. Trying to throw in some feathery details there for some texture, you know? Okay. Almost there, gang. Let me know what you think uh, in the chat here. If I've got this boxing dove looking good for you. Okay, there's the foot right there, right in front of us. And there only remains the tail, which we have right there. Okay, put some shadows here just so we get a little distance. Did I forget anything? Did I forget anything? It's a dove. Doves and pigeons look a lot alike, don't they? Now that I think of it. <laughs> he likes to rope a dove. <laughs> nice. Nice, I like it. Um, Silen, you like you like the brush? Are you talking about the brush I'm drawing with? Hey, this brush is free. Um, if you go to my Gumroad page, um, gumroad.com slash Kyle T. Webster, just look for the brush that says um, doozy. That's the, the inking brush that I use for, for drawing these uh, every time we do the show. Um, and you can just snag it right there. It's an ABR file, so it's a Photoshop brush file. As you know, I draw everything in the show in good old Photoshop. Um, it works in Photoshop, but it also works in Adobe Fresco, which is of course a free app for the iPad, um, which uh, supports Photoshop brushes beautifully. Um, so check that out. Uh, but yeah, I think doves, they look a lot like pigeons. I'm trying to think, what's the major difference between the two? 
I guess the heads, you know, are a little smaller than a dove, kind of rounder. I don't know. We don't have a lot of pigeons here. This is not a major metropolitan area where I live. But when I go to New York or any other city, I'm always kind of amazed by how overrun they are with pigeons. All right, so let's hide that sketch and let's slide this fella over and we'll bring back our dachshund. And that was a fine day of drawing and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I hope you'll join me tomorrow at the same time and tomorrow we'll do more of the same. All right, so uh, until then, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Remember to be kind and I will say ciao for now. Thank you.